Hey guys, it's Skinface here, and welcome back to episode 14 of my Monaco career. Now, in today's episode, we're going to be playing three more league games, the first of which, as you can see, is against FC Mets in the league, and we're hopefully going to be trying to get ourselves a little bit further up the league table in today's episode. Um, so, as you can see, we've also got Nice in just three days' time as well, and also Bastille as well, to, th uh, to basically finish off today's episode. Hopefully get nine points from a possible nine from those games. If we do, then we are really going to help ourselves try and climb up the league. If we win this opening match, then we will go up to fourth position uh, and potentially even third as well if Leon haven't played yet. Um, so things are looking much better than they were a few weeks ago, uh, but obviously now we are in a better position to try and challenge PSG eventually. Uh, still a few points behind them, some nine points behind them, but hopefully in today's episode we can try and pick up some points against uh, those sort of teams and make up the ground on them. Before we get into things though, if we could try and hit 75 likes on today's episode, I would really appreciate it. And if you are new to the channel or maybe just haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. It'll be absolutely fantastic. Apologies, there is no face cam in today's episode. Um, basically just doing it so I can try and keep up to date and keep um, on top of the uploads basically uh, for over the next few days. So it's easier if I don't include face cam for a few of them. But it'll be back next episode, so don't worry about that. This is the sound I'm going to go with for this opening game of today's episode. Subasic starts in goal. Torre at right back. Kurt Zuma and uh, Lema Lemachan? Lemachan? Awful French. Uh, and Jorge as our defenders. Jean Moutinho and Toussaint in front of that. Uh, Boschilla on the left hand side. Malcolm on the right hand side with Silva just in behind Germain. Kind of struggling for options really because we've got a game against Nice in three days time which is very important. This is eventually gone with quite a few youngsters on there. A couple of youngsters anyway. And uh, some decent other options as well. Uh, Lamar missing out for this game purely just I want to basically have him for the next game. or to have some quality for the next game anyway. And uh, yeah let's crack on a thing straight away. Need to get the three points. We're the best defensive team in the league. I did not know that. So that's a good record for us to hopefully try and, can, uh, and keep in today's episode. Let's wait and find out how we get on here against FC Mets. It's a team that we should really be beating. Uh, to be totally honest, on paper, even though it's a change team, this is still a better side than what they'll have um, out in today's match. So we should beat them on paper. But obviously, as we've seen in the past, that's not enough on FIFA to try and do that. So hopefully, we can put in a good performance with this change side. Still enough quality in the team, I feel. Ugh, if the referee doesn't get in the way. Uh, to try and get ourselves three points here. And that's what I'm hoping that we can rely on. Bit a bit more quality in the opposition, hopefully. And uh, see whether we can get ourselves an early goal. Oh, straight to Silva. That'll do. Silva going to look for Germain there. Germain on his left foot. Always very ambitious, but I thought I'd have a go. Oh, it's a corner. That's good news. Silva to deliver. Ball's going to go into the front post. Zuma heading it on, but cleared by the defender. And sadly, could not make the most of that flick there by Kurt Zuma. A good little chance for us. Uh, back out to uh, Jean Moutinho this time. Going to look back into the box. Good delivery. I say it was, but actually it was overhit in the end. Boschiller up the left-hand side. Needs Germain to get into the box. Going to have to slow down and wait for him. Good delivery, Germain. Oh, what a save by the goalkeeper. A little bit of lucky with the bounce that goes over the bar. Should really be 1-0, but it's a great chance that we created there. Needed to take it. Should have really been in the corners there from Germain. It's not, though, and it's out for a corner. Silver 2 deliver here. Can we find Kozuma again? We have done this time. A power header from him. Cleared off the line. Looks like it might have been going wide, potentially, though. It was a close one between the post, wide, and on target. Boschilla to try and deliver again. This time intercepted. Good start in the opening 20 minutes, though. Germain, go on. Yes, through to Jean Moutinho. Jean Moutinho. Oh, it's got to be a goal. you got to score that. It's a really easy chance, actually. The goalkeeper saved it. Too many chances that we've not taken so far. Similar to the last episode at times. Two Sal hit it out for another corner. Bombarding them with shots. Having loads of chances. Swung to finish. Again, we're going to go from post. Silver looking for Kurt Zuma again. It's the third time he's won a header. This time over the bar. Boschilla going to deliver on his right foot. Silver. Oh, heads down to Germain. Back to Silver. Oh. So close again. This time it was blocked by the defender. Is that going to be an injury to Silva? Hopefully not, because he's one of our more important players on the pitch at the moment. Uh, mm. First chance here for FC Mets quite late on in the first half, and it results in absolutely nothing. It's been complete domination by us in this first half so far, but you can't really say that without getting the goal. <laughs> or more than one goal, ideally. Uh, we probably should have at this stage, but we haven't yet. Germain looking for the back heel. Jean Moutinho still trying to go around them. I ran into a little bit of traffic in the end. Delivery into the back post. Malcolm quite, can't quite win it. And uh, yeah, just haven't taken the chances at the moment. Disappointing because we've arrived at the goal so many times. Just can't seem to finish things off. Silver inside to Germain. Going to look for that run. Oh, so close. Just gets tackled. 
Go on. Yes, good play. Tusar turns his man this time. Still needing some support. Tusar finds Silver. Jaman. Oh, turn the wrong way. Half time. So many chances. So much pressure on their defence. Just can't get it in the back of the net. We've had quite a few shots. Not too short the possessions like. I think it's been pretty good for us. It has here uh, zero shots to the opposition. It has been complete domination, but we've just not got the goal. Going to have to try and find a way to break them down. It's difficult to know how that's going to be possible at the moment. Uh, we're going out wide, going with crosses, not always winning them. Going back inside to try and play through the middle of them. They're not liking that. The block is off every single time. So it's difficult. We're going to have to just have to, I think, pass the ball a little bit quicker. That's going to be the only way we can do it. Jaman through to Silva. Oh, gets intercepted. Malcolm. Oh, it's 1-0, but it's offside. Oh, damn. I thought it looked like it. I couldn't quite tell what the right back was though in that situation. Didn't know whether I was just about being played on. Saw something at the bottom of the screen. Didn't see where exactly he was. And of course, it's quite blatant actually in the end that he's a mile offside. Ugh, frustrating. Finally got the ball in the back of the net. But uh, yeah, not going to count. Okay, all three changes. 30 minutes to go. Going to have to try and do something here. Uh, Cogello is going to come on. Uh, bon Giovanni will also come on the right hand side. Inquita at centre attack in mid. Just in behind Germain. A um, little bit risky, to be honest, what I'm doing. I'm bringing on a couple of youngsters and uh, taking off Malcolm, Toussaint, Boschilla. Disappointed with Toussaint. He's coming off not because of his energy or anything like that. Just because he's not played very well. Um, keeps on kind of mucking up his passes. So we're going to do that. 30 minutes left. Um, they're still not done anything in this game. Uh, but we need to just focus on trying to get ourselves a goal. Hoping in Keita can add a bit more energy in that midfield area to try and win back the ball. We'll wait and see what happens. Hopefully we can get ourselves a goal. Even if it's just a 1-0, we'll have to take it. Because uh, obviously it's three points. It's better than one. And uh, yeah, we'll wait and, wait and see what happens in the final 30 minutes. Oh, and Keita just about gets the... Cozzillo to shoot, oh, the flex towards the goalkeeper. It's our first shot, actually, about 10 minutes or so now. It's been a little while. Uh, they've started to get up the pitch a little bit more, FC Mets, which is a bit strange. Uh, just hoping they don't get any shots on target, because otherwise it'll probably go in, knowing my luck. Jamutino wins it back here. On to Inquita, good bit of play. Oh, we've been working on his finishing as well. We've been training it up, and it's done absolutely nothing there. Blazers over the bar, great chance, good bit of play. Ugh, just a lack of quality there from the youngster. Damn, they've got a corner. This always happens in the final five minutes or so. They always seem to find a way up the pitch a little bit more. And that was actually a good chance for them as well. Not had many chances, but that one was a little bit closer than I wanted it to be. We've gone on all-out attack, and that I never do that because it messes up the team structure completely. But that's how much I think we deserve to win this game. And we just can't seem to now get the ball at the pitch because of the fact we've gone on all-out attack. It's frustrating, but we've got to get as many players forward as possible. And sadly, we have to sacrifice the structure of the team a little bit. It's not quite working at the moment. Oh, we've got to capitalise on that. <laughs> oh, it's painful. Wouldn't surprise me if they go on and score from some ridiculous cross or something. Oh, my God. This is so frustrating. Nil, nil. Well, uh, I'm not even going to bother going on because I'll just show you the stats and that'll pretty much tell you everything you need to know. Not enough shots on target. Possession. Um, is, is what the stats says. I'm not so sure that's how it felt in game. But again, we just, we haven't managed to score. Not enough quality in the finish. And, um, yeah, disappointing. Really, really disappointing. The second half wasn't as good as the first. The first half we should have been two or three and up, um, at half time. Um, but yeah, again, just, that's the reason why we're not at the top of the league. We've got to work on it for next season. I think we're kind of the, the Man City of the French League, uh, to be honest, because we, we do have a lot of quality and a lot of potential, a lot of good youngsters. But we're just not managing to fin finish things off at times. And um, next season, hopefully we can bounce back. That's what I'm aiming for. We'll wait and see what happens. Though. Obviously, in the summer, we need to bring in more players. We need to have a bigger squad. Hopefully, we can then go on to improve the results. Let's go with some player drills, though. Exactly the same ones that we were doing in the last episode, towards the end of the episode, anyway. Uh, and Keith is in here this time round for two of the drills. He's gone up to 66 overall, as has our young goalkeeper that we promoted from the youth academy. He's gone up to 64 overall. And, uh, yeah, got some decent growth, actually, this week. Good news for us. But now we're going to focus on the game against Nice. Tough match. I mean, we have to get three points for every game now, basically. Monthly scouting updates. Uh, we are going to sign up some new players. We don't have much money, so we might not be able to afford to sign up too many. Uh, but by the looks of it, there's not going to be that many good ones for us. No, there's only two this week, uh, or this month, I should say. Uh, but now let's move on to deciding on the team to play against Nice.
Okay, this is the side I'm going to go with for the game against Nice. Subasic starts in goal. Sidibe at right back. Glick, Jemison and Mendieke for the rest of the defence. Cogello playing alongside Bakayoko at CDM. Malco on the right-hand side. Lara on the left-hand side. But then Bappe in behind Falcao, who's going to start up front. A few people suggesting to put in Bappe as centre attacking mid. We'll give it a go. We'll see what happens. If it improves us, then obviously we'll stay like that. Uh, this is the bench I'm going to go with. Again, there's obviously some alterations. We don't have a huge squad, um, but we have gone with those different options. Two side not getting on there from a, a really poor performance in the last game. And uh, yeah, that is the, the bench I've gone with. It's depleted, um, but hopefully enough to get ourselves a win here against Nice. Come on, let's get a win. We need to take our chances in today's match. Hopefully we can with, obviously, Falcao and uh, Mbappe coming into the side up front. Uh, let's wait and see whether we have a bit more quality in today's game. We should, in theory, obviously, with the players we have on paper. Um, but, yeah, just a case of taking those chances, which we were unable to do in the last match. Uh, but Nice have started actually pretty well, quite physical already with our players. Bakayoko into Mbappe. Looks to Falcao. Must be a goal. It is a goal. Falcao with it. Mbappe getting the assist. Ten minutes in. Fantastic stuff from us. It was the finish we needed. Mbappe looking quite good at centre attacking mid actually. Uh, Falcao holds it up for him. Mbappe is then able to run onto it and run past him. And we are winning this game 1-0. Ten minutes in. Great start to the match. Um, I won't say we've dominated or anything like that. It's too early really to say. It's been fairly balanced. Um, to be honest, in the opening stages here. A uh, good bit of intricate play, just managing to basically beat the defence there, Falcao, with that run. And uh, yeah, winning the game 1-0. That's it for the first half. Winning this game 1-0 still. A uh, really high energy first half, to be honest. Not that many chances created, hence why I've not seen that much. Um, but yeah, really high energy start uh, to the game. And basically, it's just been teams pressing each other in the middle. That pretty much sums up the game, to be honest. The stats there. Very few shots, possessions all in the middle, quite even. And, uh, yeah, just basically pressing, winning out the ball, then losing it, winning it back again. And that's kind of been the first half, pretty much. So, not too many chances. Needs to start to create some more. But they're a very physical team. They're difficult to break down in midfield in particular. Um, but hopefully we can have a bit more possession in the second half. Falls with Bakayoko. Oh, straight to the goalkeeper. So was that one from Falcao. Oh, it falls to us. Very fluky, to be honest, the way it falls to us there. But we've got to finish it off when it does fall for you like that. Malcolm inside to Bakayoko. Go on, hit this one. Oh, what a strike, what a save. Out for a corner. 65 minutes into this match now. Starting to pick up the pace a little bit and create some more chances. Uh, Lamar is going to try and deliver again. Better ball, hopefully, this time. Sadly, we'll head his back towards goal, but Mbappe and the pass to him wasn't good enough either. Bartelli plays it inside to Walter. Why doesn't somebody cover? That is such a stupid goal to concede. Sidibe should just come over for right back. He just stays there. I can't change to him quickly enough at all at all. And it just leaves a huge goal, uh, open goal for him to shoot. And it's one all. They've equalised. Completely terrible defending. Balotelli opens us up there. Great bit of uh, movement from him. Opens up his body, creates the opportunity for them. It's a stupid goal to concede. Is that one really, really poor? And uh, that's pretty much cost us again for not taking our chances. Uh, I keep saying every episode, but I think it's going to have to be a case of waiting until we're better next season when we've brought in some other players um, to try and help take our chances. Falcao holds it up here to Bakayoko. Back out to Sidibe, struggling for a crossing opportunity. So back out to Bakayoko and saved out for a corner. No point starting to play now. There's 15 minutes to go. Cosello to deliver. Glicks in there. Doesn't fall for him, but Falcao will just about keep it in. Cosello to deliver on his left foot. Everyone's left the box. Okay, all three changes now. Kurt Zuma, Nkita and Jan Moutinho all to go on. Baki, Yoko, Malcolm and Cosello all to come off. Um, we're essentially just going to go all out for it now, really, because there's eight minutes to go. Kurt Zuma's going to play up front. Um, I know it seems like I'm just kind of messy around a little bit, but I, I am generally just trying to get players going forward. And this, I think, is probably the best way to do it. Um, so we will go with Falcao. Uh, he'll go as the man up top with Kurt Zuma and Mbappe just in behind. We won't bother playing at the right mid for now. And, uh, yeah, we'll wait and see how that goes. Just trying to get as many players going forward as possible. Hopefully, Nkita will bring us a bit more energy in midfield. Um, but yeah, a bit frustrated the way things have gone in today's episode as a whole so far. Um, just need to try and take our chances more. But obviously, like I said before, that'll probably come by next season now. Um, probably too late to be able to challenge any for the title, I think, given the way that we're unable to sort of take these chances. Um, but still time to try and get ourselves a winner here. Falcao will try and flick it on. Unable to do that here. Should really be Kurt Zuma challenging for that. And back on the right-hand side, desperately waiting for someone to arrive in the box, but he loses it. How has he managed that? Oh, one all. Another draw. These are starting to feel like defeats. 
gutted again, and um, yeah, just I, I've said really enough. I think on that match, frustrating yet again. Five shots, five on target, enough to win the game, but uh, clearly not enough to win the game because we don't win it in the end. Uh, more drop points for us. Okay, on to the final game of today's episode. We're actually going to sim this match uh, in the final game, um, just because obviously we're, we're clearly not taking enough chances in game, so we're going to have to try get our points elsewhere, and obviously, you know, it's, it's not great when you're having to try and sim matches in order to do that. Got a game against Man City in a few days' time in the next episode, um, which obviously means we start with a, a pretty weak team, or a weaker team in this game, away against Bastia here. Germain scoring after six minutes, a good start to this game for us. Just need to make sure we don't con yep, there we go, don't, don't concede. 14 minutes later, one all, approaching half time here. Need to get ourselves a second goal into the second half. Need to try and find a goal from somewhere. Jaman could do with a second, ideally, for us. There's 25 minutes to go now. Come on, 15 minutes to go. Not another draw in today's episode, please. Oh, God, three draws. Ugh. Hopefully get nine points from a possible nine from those games. Hopefully get nine points from possible nine from those games. One all it finishes, two more drop points for us to add to the tally um, of six drop points in today's episode. So this is what the league table looks like. We've completely messed up our chances of going up into third or fourth position in today's episode. We are in sixth position now and a game behind Bordeaux, Saint Etienne, two behind Lyon, Lille and Paris Saint-Germain. So, yeah, we've really messed things up in today's episode. Very frustrating, um, but that's kind of how our team has been this season. So, can't really say much more than that. We've got to try and fight for Europa League now, which is frustrating in itself. I'm not too sure how many games were left, actually, in that, uh, from that league table. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's a little bit frustrating with the amount of times we've just failed to finish, essentially. Had loads of chances, um, but just not done enough to tuck them away. That's everything for today's episode, though. Thank you very much for watching. Apologies about the results, um, but it, it's going to have to take um, this season, I think, to, to get past those poor performances and obviously next season push on and try and win the, the league properly. Um, so we'll wait and see what happens, but uh, thank you all so much for watching. If we could try and hit 75 likes on today's episode, I would really appreciate it. And if you are new to the channel or just haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. It'd be absolutely fantastic. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and goodbye.